Yeah, in the jungle, a fight. Let's have a look at the starting lineups then. And we begin with Clarendon College. Rashid Borel is usually in goal. A back four. Fullbacks Daniel Clark and Atiba Green. Nashon Bolt Barrett has been brilliant at centre back this season alongside Devontae Hodges. Malachi Douglas, the captain, has DeAndre Gallimore and Tian QP in midfield with a fabulous front three of Christopher Hull, Kahim Dixon, and Jamil Ashley. They are coached by Linworth Teacher Hyde. Yeah, typical 4 3 3 for Clarendon College. Kaim Dixon up top 41 goal contributions. He'll be looking to add to that today. Heidel Po is no doubt ready for this semi final as well. Tajari Lee, the former Kingston College man, starts in goal once again for them. Seems as if they'll go with a back five today. Joe McGordon, Michael Forbes, Joseph Brightley, Gabriel Seaborn, and Darren Campbell, Kylan Smith, the captain, Ronaldo Barrett, and Dante Stewart in the middle with Amaria Henry and Dante Brooks up front. They are coached by Devon Anderson. Yeah, world of talent in this Heidel unit. Ronaldo Dell in semi final one of the Champions Cups. Let's have a look at the match highlights then. Carmen College with Jamel Ashley's beautiful pass. Kahim Dixon with a lovely run, but unable to get on the end of it as the genre Lee. DeAndre Gallimore with a free kick. Right at goal. Came off the crossbar after a slight touch from Lee, who was good in goal. Very good in goal for Hytel today. Best chance of the first half. What a delightful ball inside from Ronaldo Barrett, the Heidel captain. But Dante Stewart could not beat Roche Borel. A strong left arm denying him. Then in the 19th minute, Clarendon College would get the opening goal. Atiba Green inside for Gallimore. His shot off the crossbar. Back out to Christopher Hall. Hall to Kahim Dixon. Dixon with a love to finish. Enjoy this one. Clarendon College at their beautiful best. Was an opportunity to clear for Hytale. Clearance wasn't decisive enough and they paid the price. Dixon at that point with his fifth goal in his Champions Cup career. That was another opportunity with a lovely delivery coming from Daniel Clark. Chapman actually turned that one to goal. It was blocked. Clark tried his luck from distance, but once again, Tajari Lee was equal to the task, the 19-year-old. Hull for Atiba Green. Green inside to Malachi Douglas. But Atiba Green couldn't beat Lee at his near post. Wasn't enough power in the shot, really. Douglas inside the box. Picking out Kahim Dixon, his header wide of the mark. He had wrong footed Lee, but couldn't hit the target. Heidel had their opportunities in the second half. Amaria Henry with a shot from outside the 18. That one over the top. Henry showing speed here. Getting around Barrett, getting around Burrell. Then from an acute angle, spanked it over the top. Yes. He would have been disappointed with the final effort. Had options to cross as well. That looked like an innocuous pass initially from Darren Campbell. Turned out to be some trouble for Burrell who handed it in goal. And then here is Hall cutting inside. Making the pass to Kahim Dixon. And Dixon firing home with the right foot. 87th minute closer for the Clarendon College number 13 a double for him his third goal in the Champions Cup this season his 27th goal in all of schoolboy football and Clarendon College into the Champions Cup final with a 2-0 victory over Heidel 
at the Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex. Let's have a look at the match statistics then. 21 shots to Clarendon College, 9 on target, 10 for Heidel, 4 on target, 13 falls in the encounter, 7 of them called against Clarendon College. One yellow card that was given to Heidel's Deron Campbell. Four corner kicks for Heidel, three for Clarendon College, seven saves made by Tashari Lee, the Heidel goal, four by Roche Burrell, the Clarendon College custodian. Heidel had a much better second half in terms of possession, but ultimately Clarendon College busted overall 60% to 40. The stat that matters most though, Clarendon College winning this encounter by two goals to nil. Yeah. Kimania Sullivan is with the player of the match this week, no doubt about it. All right, thank you, Ricardo. I'm joined by man of the match for today's game, Digicel man of the match, Kaheem Dixon of Clarendon College. He'll receive his goodies from junior brand manager of Digicel, Kaden Welby. Kaheem, Cristiano Ronaldo is known as Mr. Champions League. Are you Mr. Champions Cup? Because yes, once I, you... yes, I am Mr. Champions League. Yeah, and in terms of your performance, those two goals were brilliantly taken. Speak to me what was going through your mind in the box when you got them. What was going through my mind that I have to put two goals away from my cousin that passed away. So, you know, yeah. And in terms of the game, how much fun were you having out there on this pitch? 100% fun. Just enjoying the game. That's all the court said. And in terms of the Triple Crown, you guys are still alive for it. Do you think you have what it takes to get three titles? Yes, we have what it takes, but we're going to take it one game at a time. All right, thank you, Kaheem. All the best. You're yeah, welcome. All right, goal scoring hitman, Mr. Champions Cup, Kaheem Dixon of Clarendon College. I'm joined now by Coach. Yeah, in the jungle, a fight.